We will now learn the second Sikhe, Mechilik Yudalu, the second Sikhe in Pashas Kiseitse, Seiv Zayin, the hero of the Sikhe. Mechilik Yudalu, Omid 91. So after the Rebbe explained in the Sikhe till here, Bariches, the gather of Mechia Samolik, Alpipshute Shel Mikra, and why Rashi explained the mitzvah of Mechias, the gather, the definition of Mechias Samolik is that it shouldn't be Shema Molik Nizkar Ana Beheime, and why Rashi mentions only Beheime, does not, Rashi does not mention Migom Ulvat Chameir, and why this does not uh, apply or by a demim, for example, a house, a bias, and therefore there was no problem with giving over base Haman to Esther. Now the Rebbe continues with the hero from this Rashi. Siv Zayin, Miyeno Shel Teira Shel Bepirish Rashi. Mivur Bechsidis, the Klipas Amolik Ba'aveide Hu Inyin Hakrirus. Like it says in the Postik, Asher Korcho Baderech. Shemikari Reso Odom Shelili Spoil Meolokus. Umichias Zeicher Amolik. He alidei ha'avedo de kabola seil. So to understand what the Rebbe is explaining here in this seif, we'll give a short hakdome. We know we say every morning in davening v'choris imi habris lo seis es eretz aknani achiti ameiri the sheva umeis the seven nations which we are mitzuve to get rid of. And Exodus explains that these seven umes are connected design midis. Every ume represents a different klipe. On top of that, we say in the Posik, Reishis Goim Amolik Vachrisa Yadei Eivit. Reishis Goim means the beginning of the Goim, the Mokir, the Sheresh of the Goim. Exodus explains the Goim, this refers to all the klipes, to design midis. The regular nations. Amolik is the mocker of the Goyim. He's a deeper clipper. He's a worse clipper. And that's why the Postic says, Reish is Goyim, Amolik, Vachrisa, Yadei, Eved. All other clippers, by the end of the day, like the Rebbe brings down later on, we'll see this Bariches, they will be Nisbarer. It's possible to be Mevarer them. Amolik is a day avid. Amolik we have to get rid of. That's impossible to be mevari. Why is that? So this explains. All other clippers which are connected to midis, what does it mean amida? What's the concept of amida? Amida means, for example, a person has a taiva. A taiva. He has a taiva to a dover gashmi. Why does he have a taiva to this dover gashmi? Because he does not realize the emis. He does not realize that the emis is a locus and this Dover Gashm is really not a, not a Metzius. Therefore, what is the Eitzah to take care of this Taiva? That when a person will learn Chesidus, a person will be misbeinen in the emis kite of a locus, and everything else is bottled, and he'll understand it, and this Avonev Asoge will be made, and his gala in his heart, so this tithe will go away. Not only the tithe will go away, on the contrary, the same keah hamisave, the same keah, the same drive that he used for this davar gashmi will now be transformed to one telukus. And this is how you can be mevarer, design me this through being misbeinen. And this is born and is bringing down to the heart, bringing down to the world, to the level of Midas. And explaining that what the Emis is, and when you realize the Emis, so maybe this drive, which drives him to the Taiva, drives him to the COVID, or drives him to other Inyonim, will be transformed for good. And that's what we say, Lossi, Lovey, in the Posse, because Efech El Amim Sofa Brural Likrekulom, B'Shem Hashem. Lost love, all the Amim, all the nations, which also refers to the Zion Midis, will be Nisapich. Oz Efech El Amim, will be the Ishabcho, Chasheicho, Lenehira. Amolik is Reish's going. He's above the going. 
He's a whole different kind of a clip. A molek, his chisorn is not a chisorn of knowledge. He knows exactly what's going on. Yideya esribeinei. What is a molek? Asher kor chobaderech. His Indian is to cool a person off. You know the emis and you are misbeinin, but he doesn't let you be nisaited. In the world of other midas, it's a lack of knowledge. It's a lack of feeling. So the male, when I'll be misbeinin and draw down the isboninis to elom amidas, I'll be nisaited and change. He, the kavone, purposely, does not let the person be nisaited. Not because he doesn't have what to be nisaited from. He has what to be nisaited from. He knows the emis. But he's thinking is to make a split. To make a cut. That's why it says in many places in Chesidus, that a molik is miloshin meliko. That we do in the base of Migdosh, you make melike. You cut off, you separate the head from the entire body. Meliko means he makes a separation. He does not let you be spoiled. He does not let you be affected. Kriros. And this goes into a great ariches how he does that. But he works very hard not to let the person be nisaited from him, his, from his, his boniness. This is what it means. Asher korcho What is the eight seconds? Such a clip. I understand if I have a clip of a taive, so I understand what the eight is. The eight is <laughs> be misbeinin, and the locus should be felt in your heart, and then that will be transformed. Well, what do I do with this? So the Rebbe says, "The mechia zeicher amolik he al yidei ha'aveido de kabola seil." Kabola seil means in Yiddish azayunit anish. This is the way it is. Kabola seil is something which doesn't have any limits. When a person only Serves Hashem with the seichel, with tam vodas, sof ko sof. There is a gubol, there is a limit, and a moly can stand against it and not let the seichel come into the heart. Kabola seil is without any gubol. It's lomay limit tam vodas, and that a moly cannot stand against. That a moly cannot stop. So when a person has the tnuy of kabola seil, then he can stand also against the moly. This, that's what we find, that the story of Shaul HaMelech, that what happened over there is, that the Abish that told him to kill the entire Amalek, and all the belongings of Amalek. And Shaul left Amalek. He, I'm sorry, he left the behemoth. Came Shmuel, and he said, what happened? He said, what do you mean? I told, I told you to, to, to get rid of everything, all the belongings. He said, no, I want, I want to bring a korban. What did Shmuel say? Ali Shmeya Mizevach Tevu La Akshiv Mechel of Elim. Kabola Seil is the foundation. That's what you were missing. And that's where Amoli comes from. So the way to fight Amoli was at Kabola Seil. You didn't have this Kabola Seil. You mixed in your Seil. You mixed in your Tan Vadas. And you thought, oh, I'll bring a Korban. It makes more sense. Ali Shmeya Mizevach Tevu. Kabola Seil is even higher than bringing a Korban. And this is what explains Exodus in many places <coughs> that the way to fight Kabbalah sale is not enough his boniness shall be tam vodas. There has to be the way to fight Amolik is not enough his boniness shall be tam vodas. There has to be the union of Kabbalah sale. So the Rebbe Vaiter, the Dover Zem Rum is Bipirish Rash. Now this if is, is, is very short and written very big uh, We will uh, go through line by line, and try to explain what the Rebbe is saying here. The Dover Zem, the room is B'Pirish Rashi. Amolik V'Reish is Goyim. Which, like we said before, who are the Goyim? The Goyim are the Zayin Umeis, the Zayin Mideis. So these are called the Goyim. Amolik is the Reish is Goyim. Zog the Rebbe. Amolik Yechelim lifel, and we're saying Amolik and Reish is going Amolik. Let us the quote of the pasuk. Yechelim lifel biikir bize luumasze. Where could Amolik be pale? Amolik could be pale in the levels which are parallel to Amolik. What does it mean parallel to Amolik? Bezayin midis the nevasholikis uvechol nevashabamis. 
Like we says in Tanya, which means that in every in every level, in every level of kedusha, there is a level against that in klipe. So the mele. There's a menagid. Every level in Kedusha has the menagid of Klippe. And the Klippe could be menagid to that level in Kedusha. And that's what the Rebbe says. You have the Zayn Midas the Nevesh Alikis. The same way you have the Zayn Midas the Nevesh Alikis, you also have Midas the Nevesh Abamis. And that the Klippe could fight against. So Amolik, and referring to what we're saying, Reish is Goyim Amolik. So... Could be pale where could be pale like the Rebbe says be ikir in the zel umas ze which means in these levels of kedusha which are parallel to that level of klipa which is designed midas the nevesh alikis and ubechol nevesh abamis vead shein hashein shoim not only could be pale in the nevesh alikis and in the nevesh abamis more than that. He can also be pale in Shem Havaya, Shem Yud Kevovke. And before we go weiter to explain the union of Shem Havaya, just to uh, just to mention the Rebbe's Medayik, who behold never Shabbos, because of the never Shali Kis, it can't be pale in the entire never Shali Kis. There is the etzim of the Neva Shalikis, the Yechide Sheb Nevesh of the Neva Shalikis, where over there there's no Lu Masazeh. Over there, there's no parallel level in Klippe. Over there, the Klippe cannot be Menagid. But the Neva Shabbamis, it can be pale in the entire Neva Shabbamis. The Ad, not only is pale in Neva Shalikis and the Neva Shabbamis, is also pale She'ein Hashem Sholim. What does it mean, She'ein Hashem Sholim? Shem Yud Kei Vav Kei, we know Yud, yud Kei is Chochmo Bina, Yud is Chochmo and Kei is Bina. Vav Kei, Vav is Midas and Kei is Malchus. What does it mean, Eina Shem Sholem? He's Mechalik. He tears apart Shem Vovke from Yutke. What does it mean? Like we explained before, what is the Indian of Amolik? He does not let his bondedness be pale on the person in the Middays. He cuts off the Middays from the Mechit. What does it mean, Lomailo? Eina Shem Sholem. There should not be the full shame. Yutke Vovke. Yutke should be not Nim, should not be Nimshach in Tevovke. There should only be Yutke as a Sahayer, a separate Indian, not come down Lamato. That's what the Postic says in Pasha de Bishalach. Kiyod al Kais Yutke. And that's what the Rebbe says here. Rak Yutke. Velei Vovke. What's the Vovke? The Zayin Midis de Lomailo. The same way we have the Midis of the we have the Midis Lomailo, and that's what Amolik differentiates, he divides the Yutke from the Vovke. Another thing that's brought down, Ve'ena Kisei Sholem, the post says, Kiyod Al Kais Yutke. Usually the word Kais is spelled Kof Samech Aleph. Over here it's Kais, Kof Sav, what happened to the Aleph? Who's the Aleph? Aleph is the Eibishter, Alufei Shalelom, the master of the world. Ein Akisei Sholem means, it's spelled Kais Beloi Aleph, which means, Ein Alufei Shalelom Nigla Beahelem Vikisui Dehoelom. Kais means covering. What's the covering? Covering means the Velt. The world, the world on its own is covering an elokus. What's the Aveda of Ayid? To bring the Aleph into the case, bring the Aleph into the world. He does not want you to bring the Aleph into the world. He does not want to bring the Yut K into the Vav K. And now it's very Gishmak, the Rebbe explains Bikitzer, the Shaykhis from the Poshta Psha to the Pshat al Pichsidis. Kisi means a chair. But over here we're saying Kisu means the world, a covering. What's the shaykhis on these two in Yonim? Because the world is also called a chair. Like it says in the post, like a shomayim kisi v'oretz hadayim ragloi. Kisi means a chair, and hadayim ragloi is a shrafraf, which means a small chair where you put your feet on. So the truth is the world is a chair. But what kind of chair? It's a chair, a shomayim kisi, the abishtis chair. Which means the world is a chair which is not, shouldn't really be mechase. The emesis, it's a chair of the Abish there. The emesis that the locus, the Aved of is to bring a locus into the world. Hashemayim kisi. But when you don't connect 
the Aleph to the world. So then it becomes a case, Miloshin, not Miloshin, a chair of the Ebishter, Ashamayim Kisi, rather it becomes case Miloshin Kisu, a covering. And there's a differentiation, a separation from the Aleph to the case. So we understood how it's in the Midas of the Nevesh Elikis, how it's in the Nevesh Abamis, and how it's Lamail. Ube Adam, and in the, in, in the individual levels of a person, Hareze Ish, Vi Isha. Where does, what's the level of Zayn Midas? It's called Ish Vi Isha. What's Ish Vi Isha? Ish Vi Isha, the Nikro Kainal Shem Hamidas. We know there's a few names, how a few titles we call a person. Odom, Ish, Gever, Enish. Odom, a person is called Odom al Shem Asechel. Ish, a person is called Ish al Shem Hamidis. Amida, which the Mida is combined of two parts, the Mashpia and the Mikabel. That's Ish, the Isha. Uchsheheim Bikatnus, Ariz Eloil Vyenik, which means a baby. There's two levels in Midas. In the Lashon of Chassidus, there's Midas, Gadlus Hamidis, and Katnus Hamidis. The Midas there, which are on a higher level, will not go on great length to be Masbir, but in the Kudis, there's the Midas, the way they are, Nathan of Gadlus, where they are more connected to the Meichin, and there's the Midas, the way they are, on a level of Katnus, where they are less connected to the Meichin. In short, Midas the Katnus are Midas which are more connected to nature, the the Teva of the person, and Midas the Godless are Midas which are which were created al pisechel seichel the Midas which are not bound to the nature of the person. So individual, and when we go and be proteus in detail, we say Ish Isha is an older man and a woman, which is the Midas on a higher level. When the Midas are on a lower level, we call them Eilil V'yenik, like a baby. This is all what uh, what Amolik is menagetu. That's all going in the Seder of Rashi. What Rashi says, that we have to we have to kill Me'ishad Isha, Me'eilil V'yenik, because the Nevesh, the, the, Nevesh, the Midas of the Nevesh Elikis in its different levels. This is where some prince of Lakuti Sikhs it says Vaitiru Benevesh Eli Kishele, it should be the Aleph has to be a base, Ubenefesh Habahamis Shele. In the Nevesh Habamis of the person, we say the Loshin Mishir Veatse. What does it mean Mishir Veatse? This is very referring to the Nevesh Habamis, and we learn in Chsidis that there's diff, different kinds of Nevesh Habamis. And in general, generally, the Nevesh Habamis is divided in two categories, Sheir and Ase. What are the differences of a Sheir and Ase? The Alter Rebbe explains this on the Kutetere, the famous Maimir Odom Kiyakriv. A Sheir refers to the Nevesh Habamis the way it's betekev, powerful. A Sheir is a Sheir Nag, he's kicking. A Se, the Loshan is, is a very tamed and quiet animal. The Alter Rebbe writes, Kalom Berachmonus. He, even the way he screams and the way he talks, is very, the way he sounds his voice, is very, very idle, very sensitive. He's a Baltaive. But that's already a, a, not such a powerful type of Nebuchadnezzar. So we, that's all in the room is in the word, Mishayr Ve'atse. Which means betake. For you can have an Evershabam is a very powerful one. A bechalishus, a weaker one, bekatnus. That's all different. That's all the room is the Lashon of Rashi. What Rashi says, miish veadisho, mi elo vead yenik, mi sheir veadse. The loch in Sorek Limchi is a zecher amolik, mi ish veadse, which is neramis, the yena shall tear and neramis to the levels of the Nevershalikis and Nevershabamis, which the Namolik is menaget. So the Rebbe writes, "V'chivon sheish puula subchina samolik bagoyim shere yureishis goyim v'gam ze tzorich limchis." Which means we mentioned before, a molik is called reishis goyim. What does it mean reishis goyim? The source of the goyim. The goyim is referring to all the Zion umays. What's the reishis goyim? The beginning of the goyim. He's the mocker of the goyim. In other words, Amalek is the shade of Shumaket of Yeshis, the shade of Shumaket of, 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 of being Menaget Elokus. When it really comes down to the Goyim, to the Sheva Midis, when it comes down to more an individual protistic way, which will be, can and will be in his body, Allah Sidlavi. But Amalek does not let that. 
when a person has the clip of Amolik, so even when he has an individual mid, mid the Amolik, for example, Amolik will not let it be in his body. Therefore, we also have to erase this union of the Goyim. In other words, not let Amolik to be mashpia and the goyim. Because when we take away a molik from the goyim, the goyim can actually be nizbarer. And that's what the Rebbe says, V'chimon sheish pu'ula su bechinas a molik ba goyim, she'arei ureish is goyim, v'gam zed sorich limchis. U bifrat shelo silo v'inem aroz ev v'chilam im sofa berur o likri kulom b'shem Hashem ulov d'shchem echot. Which means that what? That lo silo v'de goyim will be nizbarer. Therefore, we cannot let the goyim, even in Yolim of Klippe, we cannot let them be affected from Amolik. Lochein nemar bikro, gami gomol ve'ad chameir. The posik, like mentioned before in the Sikh, says gomol ve'ad chameir. Gomol ve'ad chameir, the difference of sheir and se, and gomol ve'ad chameir, because sheir and se is referring to the Nevesh Abamis. When we say in Gomo, Vat Chameir is already referring to the, the Klippes. They're already Chayis Tom, not the, they're already Tom and the Kechayis. They're already referring to the real Klippes, not only to the Nevesh Abamis. And therefore the post says we have to erase Samolik also from Gomo, Vat Chameir. In other words, that they should not be the pool or the effect of the Goyim on the other Klippes. And the Rebbe adds on, Masha'in can be Pidish Rashi, Shein Yone Hashayech Lipshute Shel Mikro. Which means, Rashi, like mentioned before in the Sikh, does not bring down this part of Migomo Vat Hameir. So, the Rebbe, Apipshute Shel Mikro, the reason is because it's self understood. Once we already mentioned the Shade of Atseh, there's no reason to mention Migomo Vat Hameir. But in Yeno Shel Teira, the reason why it's not mentioned the union of Migomo, uh, why it's not mentioned Migomo Vat Hameir, why Rash does not mention that. Seemingly, what the Rebbe is saying is, this is already a chidush. To say that the Amolik affects the Nevesh kiss, to say that he affects the Nevesh Abamis, that's something we can understand also on the level of Pshut Eshel Mikra. But to say that he's ready to understand this in his Reish is Goyim, and he's affecting also the Klippis, and affecting the Zayin Umeis, this is already more of a Pnimi is the Keringen, that's not Shaykh so much al Hapshat, and therefore Rashi does not bring that down. This is all the Luma Ze, the Ze Luma Ze that Amole could affect, be Menagetu. Avo Bifchinas Deimim, She Yaveda de Kabolas Eil, like the post says him, Le Shivisi Vedeimamti. The Mamti means I'll be quiet. Deimim, like a Deimim is quiet. What does it mean, Aveda Sashem? The union of Bitl de Kabolas Eil, I'll be quiet and do what the Abish there wants. Boze Eil la Amole Kachizo. The other Abbe. So this is the reason why the Rashi does not bring down the union of of Daimim, the union of a house, of a bias. So it, before in the Sikha Rebbe was Mazbir Barikas and Pshutishal Mikro that in Pshut Eshel Mikro, in Yonim of Nechosim, uh, things which are not, which are not high, there's no union of Mechia Samolik on that. In Yeno Shel Teira, the Pshat is, we talk about Ademim, Kabola Seil, Amolik Taki cannot be menaged to that. And therefore, where, where do you have to fight Amolik, where you have the level of Ish, Ish, which is Midas, Sheirvat, all connected to Midas, Damon, Amolik can't fight that. Not only can't fight that, but when a person is Meir within himself, the level of Damon within his Nefesh, the level of Kabbalah's Eil, and again, why is that called Damon? Because... Physically, Damon, the goalie is the less, the, 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 the lowest madrege there is. There's no chayis in it. It's Damon, it's a rock. It can't talk, it's not growing. You don't see a life in it. Kabola sale, Bechitseinis is also 
the low is darge. There is no seichel, there is no regesh, there is no feeling involved, no seichel involved. It's a union of daemon. He's just doing it. But really, the shadish of Kabbalah is very, very high and very, very deep. And therefore, it's unlimited and nothing can stand in its way. So when you are me'er the daemon shebe nefesh, me'er the Kabbalah seil shebe nefesh, this takes care also of the Ishvi Isha, takes care also of the Midas, that it should be a shame shole, that it shouldn't be able to be managed to the Midas either, and it should be able to be mamshik from the Mechin to the Midas. This is the, the, uh, Hayro from the Rebbe de uh, It's important to mention that this Seif is, uh, uh, was written the from the Rebbe from the beginning to the end, and it's uh, a very geshmaker yeno shel teira. The Rebbe takes the Rashi, the Pshutish shel Mikra, and connects it to the whole Indian of Klipas Amolik and Midis. How explained by Ariches in Chsidis? Hatzlocher Rebbe.